Idaho's Republican Party just got $50,000 to help pay for their March 2024 presidential caucus. The state GOP announced yesterday they had their first filing by a candidate to be considered in that caucus. Surprise, it's the guy who took second the last time there was a competitive field on the Republican ticket. Former President Donald Trump sent in his declaration of candidacy to the GOP headquarters Monday, and he paid the recently required $50,000 filing fee to do it. I know, it seems like a lot of cash to print a name on a piece of paper, especially when you consider before this summer, the filing fee was just $1,000. Well, a lot has happened since then. In an effort to save the state nearly $3 million by getting rid of the March elections, the legislature accidentally eliminated the presidential primary last spring. So in an effort by party leaders to remain relevant in possibly picking the next presidential candidate, the Idaho GOP was forced to adopt a presidential caucus which they planned for next March. It's an event they reinstalled at their summer meeting in June when they also imposed that stiff fee to file. $50,000. Well, that made us curious about what other states might charge candidates to be on their ballots. And right now, Idaho is tied for the highest. The numbers range from nothing, just a collection of signatures, to $50 in Oregon, to $500 in Colorado, to $1,000 in places like New Hampshire and Kentucky. Mississippi, they charge $2,500. South Carolina has historically been the most expensive. They used to charge $40,000, but this election cycle, they're gonna charge $50,000, just like Idaho. They say it's because of inflation. However, South Carolina state law requires the parties each pay $20,000 per candidate to the South Carolina Election Commission, which runs the state primaries. Not so in Idaho. With the elimination of the presidential primary altogether, any party that chooses to hold a primary or a caucus must pay for it themselves, thus the $50,000 filing fee. And according to the rules the party passed in June, at least half of that money will be shared among the 44 county central committees to offset the costs of conducting the county caucuses. How much a county gets to cover the cost of the caucus is going to depend on how many registered Republicans are in each county and any funds left over will remain with the Idaho Republican Party. But there's also a chance they may not get all that money because the GOP rules contain a rebate clause. If a candidate comes to Idaho at least once for a campaign event before the caucus, they're gonna get half their filing fee back, which means the man who loves a good bargain, who wrote a book called The Art of the Deal, could get a deal on his filing fee. 25,000 back in his pocket, if he gets Idaho soil on his shoes. Which is something Mr. Trump hasn't done, like ever. At least not while he was in politics. Didn't do it leading up to the 2016 campaign when he lost to Ted Cruz or 2020 when he won with 94% of the vote here in Idaho. Well, so maybe the GOP can count on keeping all of that $50,000. But the question is, will $50,000 be enough? Which is probably why Idaho GOP Dorothy Moon chair, that is Dorothy Moon, wrote in that statement to the press, quote, we're looking forward to receiving additional declarations of candidacy from other Republican presidential candidates and a spirited campaign leading up to our March 2nd caucus. I mean, there's a possibility a dozen filing fees are out there. Candidates have until February 11th to file to be on the Idaho GOP caucus. Of course, all of this goes away should lawmakers reconvene for a special session to reinstall a March primary. And they have until October 1st to do that.